circuit in which uh, you will be transmitting uh, light and uh, trying to see uh, uh, at the receiving end whether you are able to receive back the original information that is you are transmitting the information in terms of light pulses. So your light intensity plays a role over here. So if intensity is high it may be a logic one or it may be pertinent to a high voltage if it is less it will be pertinent to the lower voltage or logic zero and depending on whether you are transmitting zeros or ones whether it is digital or analog. So based on that slight difference will be there. At present we are not concentrating on digital information we are, we are concentrating on analog information that is I will be transmitting the analog signal uh, in this one what is there it is a fixed 1 kilohertz what we are generating and we are using it. So no need to provide any external uh, supply over there everything is internal here itself transmitter is also here only uh, receiver is also here only. So now we try to see uh, some of the characteristics of the optical fiber so on how it goes around. So when you are dealing with this one right you have a function generator you have a function generator in which it generates 1 kilohertz square wave and 1 kilohertz sine wave so this is internal and uh, if you want to control the peak to peak voltage right you can adjust this gain value you can adjust the gain value once you set the gain value right don't disturb it don't disturb it because what is happening is at the other end you are trying to see the received signal we are trying to observe the received signal. So when you are seeing that uh, there is some amplifier circuit which will amplify the signal and uh, when you are adjusting it what happens is you are trying to see what is the loss. So if you alter the, when you are reading first time you have taken the reading but next time you take the reading you alter it you will be getting wrong readings. So keep everything in fixed position. Okay. So you keep some gain that is peak to peak value and uh, you can keep the gain in minimum or maximum. We will keep it in minimum so that we can estimate what is the loss which is happening ok so function generator keep some uh, peak to peak value internally it is 1 kilohertz so no need to bother about the frequency just check out whether that frequency is up or uh, being generated or not so then and peak to peak value can be noted down so now in this case what we do is we will be using analog link analog link implies that we will be transmitting analog message or analog information so here we can tap out the output of 1 kilohertz and give it to the emitter circuit directly. So what this emitter circuit does is it will take this information and give it to emitter LED and LED will be transmitting those pulses or light intensities on the channel and the channel here is nothing but the optical fiber so which will carry the light. So once uh, it is being transmitted at the other end we will be having the receiving end in which we detect the light pulses or the uh, light intensities. So in this one uh, we have a photo transistor which will be operating based on its uh, say uh, photo characteristics. So based on that I will be obtaining the detector circuit output. Now detector circuit output since it is an analog signal what happens is we will be getting the analog information. So once I detect the signal what I do is I can give it to the amplifier. I can give it to the amplifier because chances are there it may be attenuated. So again just for amplification what I will do is I will keep it on minimum position. And uh, this is the point where we will be tapping the output. This is the point where we will tap the output. So this has to be given to the CR. So initially what you can do is you can check what is the input, how much it is say for example say 5 volt peak to peak and 1 kilohertz once it has been transmitted through this entire uh, channel and uh, other stuff once you detect it you see what is the value over here so that is what you are trying to observe here uh, so you will be observing the input you will be observing the output in the initial this thing. so this is for analog link now next one I want to identify what is the bending loss so this is just transmission and reception and when we are operating this one right there is uh, one uh, this thing what you have to just check out that is the switch mode if you operate you are if you are sending analog signal keep this switch mode in switch one that, that is sw1 to analog if you are transmitting digital see that it is put on digital so that is uh, when you use this signal for this one again uh, slight differences there in the uh, block diagram so that will not be bothering so this is in simple function generator output that is analog signal to emitter circuit from emitter circuit to the detector circuit and from detector to the amplifier and from amplifier to the CR 
So this is a simple block diagram. Now, uh, but the channel, remember, the channel is optical fiber. Now, uh, I want to identify the bending loss. So, uh, in a simple concept, logical way, more the band, more the loss, whichever channel it is. So, what we, but uh, what is the advantage of uh, optical fiber is optical fiber, uh, uh, in optical fiber, the signals uh, travel a longer distance. And uh, if TIR fails, then only that loss appears. If TIR is not failing, then uh, uh, then uh, you will not be having the bending loss, or it will be very minimal. So what we do is uh, we take the longer optical fiber. We have actually two optical fibers. Okay. So here we have two optical fibers. One is around the 0.5 meter, and the other one is around. The so this is smaller one and the other one is around 1 meter I guess. So these are the two uh, this thing. So for bending loss what happens is this one I cannot bend a lot. Mm -hmm. So losses won't be able to, uh, we won't be able to identify. I will take the long, longer one. So one way is to uh, make a loop and try to identify the radius and try to uh, bend it in this one. But uh, this is again problematic because you might break the optical fiber. So we will not do it in this one. So what we do is we take this mandible. And uh, we uh, rotate it around this one. So one turn, two turn, three turn, four turn, five and six. So around six turns are possible with a longer cable. So now in general, more the number of turns, more is the loss. So this is a logical concept. Uh, but uh, since the cable is only one meter, right? I might not see any losses, very much losses. Can uh, see in minute say 0 0.1, 0 0.2 volt difference. So after doing this, right, what you can do is you can place the channel. You can place the channel. Remaining connection remains same. So now what you do is for six turns, what is the output? Say input was around say 5 volt peak to peak. Mm -hmm. Now approximately when we more the number of turns are there, approximately it has to be around say 4.8 volt. Now I will uh, reduce one turn. So when I reduce one turn, slight difference may be observed. So for five turns, what is the output? For four turns, what is the output? Mm -hmm. So in this way, for zero turns, what is the output? So for zero turns, you will be having the maximum result. For um, uh, more number of turns, you will be having the minimum. So this is what you have to do. So this gives you the bending loss. Uh, bending loss. Bending loss. Bending loss.